after multiple attempts and months of brainstorming, we're finally here. So what I'm using currently is my racing sim, connected to a screen, connected to an Android uh, box, connected to an IoT sim card system to be able to drive an RC car. This is my test rover and I am here now. So previously I was able to connect um, my FPV goggles with the remote for the RC car and I thought to myself what is the best way to be able to drive an RC car and I thought what about the racing sim I can sit here drive around and this has a range for about five kilometers I tested it before if you haven't watched it go check out the previous video it was awesome. I carried the phone all the way to another park to test it. And now finally, I've been able to put everything together. There's still a long process to design the box to hold everything. But I am stoked. I am so excited to be on this point. At this point, seated here. This is like this weekend, I'm not moving. This weekend, I'm sitting here and I'm driving this thing. I'm going to drive it till I get tired but it will be more perfect if i have some cushions to protect it and also to be able to put all these components inside but the advantage of it is first of all you need to test everything before building it's an amazing design i also make other rc cars i like to tinkle around with projects like this to test them out oh you know, when you when you have a racing sim, this is what you think about. You you can play as many games as possible, but you finally get to a point where you're like, I wish I had a system that I could be able to drive just and it's actual, it's in real time, it's there. So being able to build the thing and put it together to this point, to build the RC car, to um, test all these other products, the uh, Cadex uh, FPV, goggles and my own fpv glasses that i built and many others to get to this point and also to talk to the people who produce the product to tell them i had a system problem i could not uh, log in into my account to be able to communicate to get the iot sim the industrial sim that i'm using currently it's not the most perfect but it works well so And that's just day one. I can go to two, three, four, reverse. So in the future, I can be able to also build brakes on the system. I can be able to even attach the whole system if I build it to be modular. I can attach it to other racing RC cars. I can take it to a truck or something and I can be able to drive it practically anywhere and everywhere well you guys gotta go i have i have to do this testing for myself is a private private testing session so i'll leave you with this you can enjoy just a sneak peek of the whole thing i'm gonna uh, i will drive it to the other side you get to see my skills okay one so I'm using the manual system, but you can also use the, like, you know, the touch system at the steering wheel to control the gears. But I prefer the manual because I'm, it's a more of a crawler than a RC racing car. So. Oh, great, great start.
actually very very awesome very very cool so there's more to that as you can see also that's a system then you can be able to have your uh, direction you know the trim the wheel dampening the uh, wheel angle range you can switch the cameras if you have two different cameras and then you have the simulated brake switch which you can be able to use and also you have the simulator where you calibrate the uh, the whole system and then you can have your roll the pitch the yaw the sides the suede the have then once you've done that then you have your all it gives you let's say the battery how much uh, battery you have uh, how many minutes you'll be driving i'll be driving for 45 minutes the percentage and everything for the reverse if i put it on reverse then you can be able to see it takes quite a while to it takes two steps you have to first press it for it to know it's on reverse but everything else besides that works to about a, a second or two of delay so well gotta keep on trying to make it even better so we'll see the next time probably i will switch from this system and then i have um, um what are they called i have uh, glasses goggles i have glasses that you that you have like a projector screen and then you can be able to drive them we'll test that next time and many other systems and whatever so if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button if you haven't uh, followed if you haven't liked if you man gotta do this we're testing stuff we're building stuff and then you will come up with some ideas you never know that's the project of today and that's the mess of today oh this was is absolutely absolutely very cool i really really like it like um hmm. there are so many things that you do that make sense but when you're doing them they don't make sense you know when you're when you're going through the process you ask yourself what am i doing maybe i should stop but when once you accomplish it and you have that moment of satisfaction where you see it work it's totally different. I know I lack that enthusiasm of excitement, but I'm excited. This is me excited. This is me like, damn. Very cool. Very cool. So let's drive a bit more. Yeah, don't worry. The, the video will end like some years from now right now ain't nobody got time for that right now we just enjoyment it's reverse So I have to reduce the accelerator a, a little bit. It's oversensitive and I don't want to damage the, the car itself and whatever it's holding. That thing is so gangster. It's driving while rolling with the battery and everything, man. So next a small 3d case to hold the thing a pointer for the camera a place for the antenna uh, some cushions for the back and the front to pro like to prevent it when it hits yeah man well gotta end this remember to hit the like button
and subscribe to DSK2 Design.